Can you believe it? They are actually trying to tell people out here that the Koof Koof can tell how much money you have in your pocket. According to this article, uh, the Koof knows whether you take the bus. It can tell you if you live in a multi-generational household. According to these uh, doctors out in Mississauga, Ontario, um, they that's what they're trying to tell people. And at the same time, trying to add a little fear mongering in there. Um, so let me just run through this. Arya said lower income populations often don't have the funds to buy upgraded masks or rapid antigen tests, nor can they easily take time off work to isolate to get their booster shots. All right. So right off the top funds to buy upgraded masks and rapid antigen tests. You don't, I'm not a doctor and everybody out here on this goddamn YouTube says has to say this. So I'm not a doctor. Don't take me for one. But upgraded, they're talking about you got to upgrade your masks. Uh, do the masks work? I think what they're saying now is that the masks haven't been working. So, okay, great. Personally, I don't use masks, so I'm not upgrading. Big deal. Nor can they easily take time off work to isolate or get the booster. At Right now, the fear mongering is so high. Any job you have, if you call in sick right now, I got symptoms of the omarion coof they're gonna tell you straight don't come in the only problem you run into is whether you have the sick days or not and if you have a a job that isn't getting the bursary or the the the, the omarion relief effort then you might as well find yourself a new job no one's telling you to work these broke ass jobs where they don't take care of you and if there, if there's a problem, you need to get into some kind of skilled trade. That's pretty much what you should be looking at. If you think Burger King or McDonald's is going to help you out, that's obviously not going to fly. Uh, so what else is this clown saying? If you have money, you're able to afford the protection you need to survive and be safe. Essential workers bore the brunt of the coof infections during Canada's Delta driven wave last spring. And Arya said low wage employees are likely to to experience some of that again. As provinces scale back eligibility for PCR testing, he pointed out that private testing companies in Ontario, which can offer same day results for those willing to pay 60 or more for the service, further show an income divide in how people can deal with the coof. Why do you have to, if you're sick, okay? And these jokers are telling you that the Kung flu is flying around out there. Likelihood of you having it is is high okay like that no doubt the omarion is a very fast acting uh spreader so most of us probably already had it a week ago two weeks ago or going through it right now nobody's dying from it so why drop a bill 60 to go get a test that you don't need it's called the flu or in my opinion it's called the flu you can beat this stuff Okay, so what else they got here? Uh, risk profiles have also differed across economic lines throughout the pandemic. The more transmissible Omarion variant may be exacerbating them completely. Essential workers, by def uh, definition, have to leave the house to work. They might be taking public transit to work. They might be working around 400 people in a distribution center. Why do they, like, Jesus, man. These, so I find that these privileged people like so there's these doctors why are they thinking that everyone's working in a distribution center why like many frontline workers are racialized they're immigrants to canada they're more likely to live in a multi-generational household with elders and vulnerable children who aren't vaccinated there's some more fear mongering and garbage yeah, there's mad South Asian and Asian families that are living with, you know, like what, four generations under one roof. They're making mad coin. When COVID, the first run went through and they were giving out the CERB, let's put it this way. If you got a grandma, grandpa, mom and dad, and then any adult children in that house all eating, what was it? Uh, was it 2K uh, every two weeks? And you have eight people, you do the math. That was an easy kill for many of these impoverished, racialized, 
distribution center workers. It's an absolute joke. I can't believe how they're trying to pull this. So the COOF, for the most part, as they're trying to run, they're saying it can tell the direction in which the arrows are pointing on the floor in your grocery store. It can tell whether or not you live in the ghetto or in Beverly Hills. It can tell whether or not you can get on a plane and fly it through the country or through the world. The Koof Koof knows whether you've been good, whether you've been bad, and if you're going to get coal for Christmas. This whole thing, in my opinion, is a joke. Again, I'm saying I'm not a doctor, but this is getting out of hand, man. When are you guys going to stand up? Mm -hmm.